Good morning, guys. It is the morning of day two. <laughs> and I uh, gotta get everything, all the batteries changed out and ready to go because yesterday was such an amazing day. From the pink lake, how cool is that? To, uh, oh gosh, just the countryside as we rode along, seeing the beaches we rode up, sunset, but hands down, time and time again, whenever I spend time with the ladies of GLOW and all of our significant others, I'm reminded of just how cool this group is. So anyway, I think Ali and I are gonna finish cleaning up Cherry in, in Scarlet and uh, get the GoPros ready to go and then we're headed out to find some more adventures here. Come on. After a long 618 kilometer day the day before, we were all still excited to gear up and head out on another day of fun adventures. But as usual, before we could leave town, we had to fuel up the bikes. One of my favorite things about small towns is that you can still find some cool old school things like the pumps at this fuel station. Once on the road, we headed north out of town to the inland gorge sites of the Calvary National Park. The sites are located about a 30 minute ride from the center of Calvary and are in the lower reaches of the mature sun, <laughs> I'm trying to get that one right, river, featuring the two stunning locations of Nature's Window and Calberry Skywalk. Our first stop of the day was at Nature's Window that requires a short walk down into the gorge. Let me tell you, the fly nets really are needed when you visit this location. Though we were lucky, and the flies were not bad while we were there, they are definitely still present and very much a pest. Over the last 400 million years, the river has carved a magnificent 80 kilometer gorge through the red and white banded sandstone. On this trip, we were unable to undertake the eight kilometer class four hike on the walk loop through the gorge but we will be back. As a note, when you visit, be certain to check the weather. The temperatures here in the summer months can reach upwards of 50 degrees C or 122 Fahrenheit. Water is definitely needed regardless of the time of year. Our next stop of the day was just across the gorge over to the Calberry Skywalk. Once we parked, Scarlet and Cherry seemed to draw a lot of attention. As you enter the Skywalk area, everywhere you look, there is respect shown for Australia's first people and the wildlife. Then you step out onto the twin Skywalks that project 17 and 25 meters respectfully over the rim of the gorge and are approximately 100 meters above the gorge floor. And once again, you will be struck in awe of the natural beauty that is Western Australia. Standing out here on the, uh, the skywalk and seeing just how beautiful parts, well, Western Australia is. I mean, every place we go, we start to think, you know, it cannot get any prettier. It just can't. And then it does. I mean, it is just, absolutely stunning here it is just just wow Allie and I decided to make one more stop while at the inland gorge sites at the Z Bin lookout the goal was to check out the hike at this location down into the gorge to see if we should add it onto our next trip with the ominous skies we were assured by the weather apps that there was only a 25% chance of less than one millimeter of rain. Well, <laughs> they missed. When we arrived at the car park, 
we were lucky to find some cover under the picnic awning to wait out the storm. And we were not the only ones to do so. I wish I had thought to get some footage of all the bikes and bikers parked with the picnic tables, as it was quite a sight indeed. Once the rain cleared, we headed back into Calberry for lunch and a nap before we headed to the Minara Hill Lookout above town to enjoy another beautiful sunset with everyone. It was a simple affair of pizza, laughter, and really good people. For those of you that have stuck with me to the end of this video, my question for you today is, have you ever been soaked riding in the rain with your rain gear still in your saddlebags? <laughs> we sure did because there was nowhere to stop. So until the story continues, get out and ride. When you do, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on day three of this amazing trip. Bye everyone. <laughs>